we're here in Bakersfield, California, mid-afternoon, looking at a very beautiful, very nicely done, high-end 2020 Detroit Riddler Great 8 Contender. Very nicely done custom. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. This car's name is nicknamed the Sandman. Very nicely done. You can actually top to bottom, obviously, to get it to be a Great 8 Contender. This needs to be a very high-end build, and it's all of that and then some. Wait till we get it up on the lift and we'll cover a lot more for you. It's a 1955 Cadillac Coupe de Ville with a lot of customization, a lot of one-off components. Like I said, we're going to cover those items for you as we go around. It's finished in a uh, root beer brown, metallic brown, and a cashmere two-tone here on the upper side. A lot of modifications like we talked about up front here. You kind of see the grill is very custom. There's no way I'm going to cover everything as I walk around this car, but I'm just going to cover little bits and pieces and cover them for you. Up front here, the grill itself has about just under 200 pieces, individual pieces that went into this grill shell. It's very cool. The bullets were cut off on the front here, and this has LEDs in here around the turn signals. Where there typically would have been a marker light, it's now a, a front vent. You'll see the root beer brown behind the back side. Again, hang on to the video. We're going to cover a lot of different segments in this car. Up front here on the uh, grill, we'll kind of let you take it in. Sometimes we'll just let you study it. Obviously, the hood's been modified and customized. Underneath the hood is a uh, 598 cubic inch Merlin tall deck with a uh, Pro Charger Turbo 400 automatic transmission. It is sitting on an Art Morrison chassis. Very, very high-tech car when it comes to the chassis and suspension. The wheels were all custom done, custom one-off wheels with the root beer centers here. The hubcaps are custom one-off also. In order to be a grade 8 contender, a lot of these cars have a lot of very nice one-off features to them. They're, again, I'm not going to be able to cover them all as I walk around this one. We'll actually open the doors here for you. We're not going to open them during this walk around. As soon as I'm done with this segment of the video, We'll open all the doors, the deck lids, and cover the engine, that kind of stuff for you. Riddler Award, grade 8, finalist right here. 2020. Step back and look at it. It started as a two-door coupe, and then it's been modified. The doors are very nice to be a four-door with suicide rear doors. They have electric controlling latches on it, that type of thing. The underside has a belly pan, the chassis covered the color of the car, the root beer brown stages of it. We'll give you a peek inside here. It's fully computer controlled with an iPad or your iPhone where you open the deck lid or the hood, that type of thing. See all the control switches here. The interior alone in this car was about 70 grand, just to give you an idea. It's a very high-end leather interior. Again, we'll do a segment and cover the interior more. These doors, these rear doors, which are custom, the top, top itself has been chopped. And then the, I'm going to step back so you kind of get a good feel of it. See, the roof has been chopped. The doors, you can't really tell they're, they're there, but they're not there. Anyway, bottom line is uh, suicide doors in the rear. So when we have them open, it's really cool. Cover the roof line. A lot of one-off trim, custom-made trim for this car. Handmade pieces. Root beer brown is just beautiful. Out back here, kind of a neat little touch. We'll cover more when we have it up on the lift about the rear bumper. But the rear bumper is custom. It's a custom three-piece rear bumper that's been modified, a combination between a 55 and a 56, and then rolled down around the belly pan. Out back here, typical V8 emblem has been actually crafted into the deck lid here. It has two fuel tanks in it, um, and the reason is you can either run a super high-end race fuel in it, or you can run a 92 octane gas, which is what he runs it on. The tail lights here, you typically would have saw the left tail light on one of these would have been the fuel door would have been behind it. But we'll lift this up. So the right side fuel tank is a high test racing fuel. We'll get over to the other side and we'll show you it opens up the same way. I'll get it shut here. One handed makes it difficult sometimes. Push this one up. You'll see that the uh, 
92 octane is on the left side of the car. The root beer brown is just, it's just got a great look. If you're looking for one of a kind car, definitely high end. You buy these cars at a fraction of the cost to build them. A lot of love and time. This car was eight years in the making, Sandman. Late nights, thinking about how you want to design things, do things. Just to make it into the grade eight to compete for the Riddler is a great, wonderful award. We'll actually, uh, like I talked about, open up the sides here and kind of give you a peek at the interior. I'm going to call the owner over. We'll raise the deck, the engine, and the doors and give you a peek inside. All right, we have all the doors open. He's going to open up the deck lid there. Okay, we're opening up the hood. So we have it all the way open. We're going to walk over and show you the uh, interior on it. And I have the owner standing by so we can shut the rear doors, that type of thing. Shed a little light on it for you here. Very, very cool. The uh, controls back here are for the remote ac exit for the doors and the power windows up and down on the rear of the car here. You'll see the uh, all the custom upholstery emblems in the back here waterfall style rear console, map pockets in the back of the seats, here, custom Sandman door sill plates that are here, up front here, obviously all the power you could think of, power seats, that type of thing, tilt steering column, has uh, these controls on the uh, side of the panel here are actually for windows up and down, uh, fuel pump and various other switches in the car. It has a one finger or a button start in the center of the dash. We'll show you that here. The dash has been wrapped in a high-end leather. We talked about during the walk around what it costs to build a car like this and install an interior like this. Monitor screen, stereo, um, HDMI, MHL, has a uh, uh, start stop button that's right there on the dash here. These are custom made interest instruments that match the color of the interior. The uh, Cerakote uh, you'll see throughout the car when we get to the undercarriage here on some of the finishes which is a gun coating. Gated shifter here on the console. Headliner itself. We get you in the up here. Pardon for the moving around with the camera. You'll see the headliner there. I'm going to have uh, the owner shut the doors here. He walked away for just a second. I'll get him back and then we'll shut the uh, passion door. Heck, I can probably do that. It has latches on the back doors here. You'll see all the one-off stuff. These latches are out of a like a 70s Cadillac uh, on the rear doors. And what you do is you, you bring them in close to the latch. And then... You hear the power motor closing them shut. We'll go over to the passenger side and do that. Suicide doors are cool. We'll stop on the back here and cover the uh, rear trunk compartment with the obviously the same level of, as the interior of the car. Everything throughout this car is show quality. Very, very uh, nicely done this this is a compartment we'll actually have a little clip at the end where we went through these on the inside uh, but these uh, heck I'll just do it now very nicely finished throughout here Pull these latches up again this is hard to do one-handed sometimes nice little storage compartment here in the back Bottom side of the deck lid here, finishing the root beer brown, show finish. Put this back down. I'm not going to try and redo the latches right now. I just want to try and cover this all in one walk around here. You notice the uh, it's got little bumper pads here that, is, that match up front, up top here. 
so that when it sets down it sets exactly where it's supposed to be do the same thing with this door over here cover it from the passenger side first so you get a feel at the passenger side it's always fun doing cars like this a lot of thought goes into these cars and uh, again the Sandman's uh, door sill plate watch the electric door latch shut automatically shuts the rear doors grade 8 there underneath the hood here we're gonna walk around and share the engine compartment with you uh, move around to the other side under the hood here and we'll get it up on the lift here in just a moment it's a 598 cubic inch Merlin tall deck General Motors style, it has uh, aluminum cylinder heads on it, scat crank, eagle rods, that type of thing. Uh, it's got a blow through carburetor on it, a pro charger, polished pro charger here. Same thing here, you'll see the bullet points here that match up to the bottom side of the hood so it settles correctly. Root beer brown finish, custom uh, engine cover, uh, air housing there. You'll see how the airflow feeds off the front of the car and also the air filter or an air intake is over here on this side underneath the fender apron. We'll cover that when we get to the uh, undercarriage portion of the video. You'll see that. This finish here is called a Cerakote, I believe, or something like that. I covered it on the undercarriage earlier. Um, like a gunsmith finish for a gun. Custom valve covers with Cadillac emblems on them. These are custom designed one-off hood hinges. Power controlled, which you already saw. Has a turbo 400 automatic transmission. Uh, Ford nine inch uh, differential. S all sitting on an Art Morrison chassis, which I already mentioned during the walk around. Polished AC compressor. Uh, again, the same finishes throughout the car. All custom panels here. We'll show you the bottom side of the hood. We have Sandman up on the lift here. We were joking. Uh, man, you just turn this car over and show it at a different show on the other side of the car, the bottom side. It's just beautiful. Um, start back here at the back bumper. I'm going to cover a lot of things. There's a lot of one-off components on this car. The rear bumper itself here is kind of a combination of a 55 and a 56. They've extended it so it covers down to the body panels here. They changed the, the uh, angle of it here so it matched the exterior bumpers correct. The exhaust runs out the back here. Unbelievable uh, belly pan on the bottom side of the car here. All these panels are removable for access. Uh, the exhaust is all custom done. It's finished in Cerakote, which is like a gun coating. It's an Art Morrison chassis. You'll notice that fuel tank here, the polished custom fuel tank, again, a lot of one-off stuff. Um, it holds two different types of fuel in the car and there's a switch that'll switch it from one to the other. Uh, the right side here is for a high, high octane racing style fuel and over here it runs on 92 octane. There's the Giuliano connectors on the exhaust here. All the way throughout you'll see that. Again, Art Morrison chassis. Uh, Ride Tech Air Ride Suspension that's adjustable. You can set different points to your liking. Um, has Wilwood disc brakes all the way around. They've been polished, then chrome plated. Four bar suspension. Art Morrison built a really nice chassis. So everything's finished in the Sandman colors of this car. Uh, You'll see the level of chrome plating on this car is just unbelievable. The finish on the bottom side of the car is just like the top side of the car. This is a custom fiberglass belly pan here above the frame on the chassis. This is an access panel that's custom built for the fuel filters and act fuel system access. You'll notice a lot of the things are hidden underneath here. See where the exhaust goes through the frame, Art Morrison chassis. 
Um, there's custom caps made here for the body mount access holes. We'll get up close on them there and show you and you can see the reflections of the finish. Drive shaft itself is chrome plated. Drool factor plus on this one. It has a uh, gear vendor overdrive here. You'll see the root beer and the color from my light there. Um, gear vendor overdrive has a turbo 400 automatic transmission. Again, you'll notice that there's no lines or anything run into the rear of the car. They're all hidden within the chassis or within the belly pan of the body. Again, the Cerakote, the Giuliano connectors on the exhaust system here. Um, trans cooler runs into the frame to a different access panel. You'll see the finish all the way up into here. Fully independent front suspension. Rack and pinion power steering. The inner fender aprons, the same thing. Custom one-off uh, body inner panels, inner fender panels here. You'll see the air intake right there for the Pro Charger and the blow-through carburetor. Braided lines, again, Ride Tech uh, adjustable ride suspension on it. Here's where the trans cooler comes out and it's mounted up front here. Again, Cerakote on those braided lines, polished radiator, tie rod ends are plated. Show you the bottom side of the uh, 598 cubic inch uh, Merlin tall deck. Chrome mini high torque starter. The block is the color. Into the fender apron here. We'll actually go around the rockers here in just a minute and cover that for you. A lot of belly pan components here. It's always fun looking at a car like this. A lot of time, meticulous time is spent uh, as a aluminum, uh, polished aluminum carrier, plated carrier, Ford 9 inch. Cover the rockers here for you, belly pan rockers. You'll see the uh, access points again for the body mount as we go along here. We've got the car raised up quite a bit for uh, uh, sharing the uh, undercarriage here with you. See all those panels, very intricate, meticulous, polished stainless or plated hardware throughout. Too much fun. Like a piece of jewelry. We appreciate you coming to Spud's Garage and taking a look at this one. Incredibly cool. There you have it.